Hello my dear friends, today, let us play some riddles. The riddles are about our solar system. Shall we begin then? I'm the largest planet. Who am I? Jupiter. You are right. I am the planet with rings. Who am I? Saturn. You are absolutely correct. I am the blue planet. Who am I? Earth. Correct. I am the planet closest to the sun. Who am I? Mercury. You are right. And, our last riddle for today is, I am the planet farthest from the sun. Who am I? Neptune. Excellent answers children. So, our topic for today's session is, Earth, Sun, and, Moon. From Class 5 Science. The planets and the sun are known as celestial bodies. These celestial bodies form a part of the solar system. Let us learn more about the solar system. Solar system. The sun and the celestial bodies that revolve around it form the solar system. Apart from the planets, there are also comets, asteroids, satellites of various planets, and dwarf planets. A satellite is a celestial body that orbits a planet. All planets revolve around the Sun in fixed path called orbits. In order of increasing distance from the Sun, the eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Pluto, which was earlier considered as planet, was placed in a separate category called Dwarf Planet by the International Astronomical Union Yao, in August 2006. Look at the diagram given for the solar system. In reality, the planets are much more distant from each other. This diagram gives us a rough idea of how and where each planet is placed. Earth. The Earth is different from all other planets in the solar system. It has water, air, and soil. There is a blanket of air around the Earth, called the atmosphere, which protects it from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the Sun. The surface of the Earth has various features such as oceans, rivers, mountains, and valleys. But, do you know, what the inside of the Earth looks like? Let us see it. Internal Structure of the Earth According to scientists, the Earth is not a uniform solid sphere. It consists of different layers. These layers are called the crust, mantle, and core. The core is further divided into the outer and inner core. Crust it is the outermost layer of the Earth. Its thickness varies from 5 km under the ocean floor to 70 km under the continents. It is made of rocks. Continents and oceans lie on this layer. It contains everything that is essential for life. Mantle It is the middle layer or layer below the crust. It is about 2,900 kilometers thick. Its upper part is made up of solid rocks, whereas the lower part consists of molten rock. It is from here that molten magma comes out when a volcano erupts. It contains a lot of iron and magnesium. Core It is the innermost layer forming the center of the Earth. The outer core is about 2,300 km thick. The inner core is about 1,200 km thick. 
The outer core contains iron and nickel in a molten state. Some sulfur is also present. It contains a lot of iron and magnesium. Sun The sun is the star that is closest to the Earth, about 1,500 million kilometer away. It is a huge ball of hot, burning gases. The sun has a thin layer of atmosphere called the corona. It is this corona that we sometimes see. The spherical sun has a diameter of about 13,92,000 kilometers. The sun is so big that a million Earths could fit into it. But it is still considered small because stars are usually much larger. In fact, the sun is called a dwarf star. The sun is made up of mainly hydrogen and gas called helium. At the center of the sun, hydrogen changes into helium. This process releases a large amount of heat and light energy, together called the solar energy. It is this light and heat that we receive on Earth. Solar energy is the most important source of energy for man. It is almost inexhaustible. Well, it might get over, but not for another several billion years, at least. Now, let us learn about Moon. The Moon is also spherical like the Sun and the planets. The Moon is made of rocks and has no air on it. The Moon is the natural satellite of the Earth. Its distance from the Earth is about 384,400 kilometers. The Moon does not have any light of its own, the moonlight we see is only reflected sunlight. The surface of the Moon The surface of the Moon is dry and dusty and is covered with craters, mountains, and valleys. Craters are formed when solid bodies, called meteorites crash into the Moon's surface. There's no air or water on the Moon. As such no sound can be heard, since sound needs a medium to travel. The Moon also has gravity, with which, it pulls all objects towards its center. Phases of the Moon When the Moon revolves around the Earth, its shape appears to change day by day. The changing shapes of the Moon are called phases of the Moon. Landing on the Moon It is a long way indeed to the Moon, but man has made that historical trip. The first men to land on the Moon were the crew of the American space mission, Apollo 11. It was launched from Kennedy Space Center. The rocket that carried it into space was Saturn V. Apollo 11 carried three American astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Edwin Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Armstrong was the first to step out, and thus became the first man to set foot on the moon on July 20, 1969. He and Aldrin stayed for two and a half hours on the moon and collected rock samples to bring back to the Earth. Fact. As the moon has no air or wind, the astronauts' footprints will remain there forever. After Apollo 11, many more missions have gone to the moon and elsewhere in space. Some have been manned, but many more unmanned spacecrafts have been sent to orbit the moon, land on it, and bring back the info. Artificial Satellites Artificial satellites are man-made objects that orbit the Earth. In order to launch satellites into space, we need to overcome the Earth's gravity. This is achieved by launching satellites with powerful rockets. There are different types of satellites, each designed for a specific purpose. Communication satellites send signals for TV and radio programs and telephone calls. Navigation satellites help ships and aircraft find their way. Astronomy satellites carry telescopes into space. And weather satellites help in weather forecasting. Ground stations on Earth send and receive signals to and from these satellites. Eclipses To be eclipsed means to be hidden. 
Sometimes, the sun, moon, and earth come into a position as though they are all in a straight line. At times, the earth comes between the moon and the sun and at other times, the moon comes between the sun and the earth. At such times, the celestial body in the middle casts a shadow, which partially or wholly hides the other celestial body from the sun. This is called an eclipse. Lunar Eclipse When the earth comes between the sun and the moon, it blocks a lot of the sunlight from reaching the moon and creates a shadow. This is called an eclipse of the moon or lunar eclipse. The earth's shadow has two parts, one where the earth totally blocks the sunlight, the umbra, and the other where the earth blocks a part of the sunlight, the penumbra. A lunar eclipse may be partial or total. During a partial lunar eclipse, only a part of the moon can be seen. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon cannot be seen at all. Solar Eclipse When the moon comes between the earth and the sun, it blocks some parts of the sun and creates a shadow. The sun looks as though it has a disk in front of it that creates a shadow. This is called a solar eclipse. The solar eclipse may be partial or total. During a partial solar eclipse, a part of the sun can be seen. During a total solar eclipse, the sun cannot be seen at all. The moon's shadow has two parts, the umbra and the penumbra. The region on the earth where penumbra falls will have a partial solar eclipse. Solar eclipses are of very short duration, a few minutes or so. India's mission to the moon The Chandrayaan-1 mission is India's first spacecraft to be sent to the moon. It was launched by India's National Space Agency, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, on the 22nd of October 2008 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. The aim of the mission was to map the moon's surface in high resolution and also get more details of the moon. Let us recap. The sun and the celestial bodies that revolve around it form the solar system. The Earth consists of three layers, crust, mantle, and core. The Sun is a huge pole of hot, burning gases. The Moon is the natural satellite of the Earth. There are many artificial satellites sent by man to space. These help us in communication, navigation, and weather forecasting. A lunar eclipse happens when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon. A solar eclipse happens when the moon comes between the sun and the earth. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.